can see him flying around. I'm gonna bring it over here and you can hear him. And bring it up there and put it next to the, you can actually hear him. They're all inside there. Except for that guy. Uh, he didn't make it. Okay. Hello everybody. We just got the bees this morning. I'm gonna just suit up here quick. And then we'll show you what we have inside the nucleus hive that we bought for the library. These are the bees that will hopefully eventually get um, put in hives outside the library. But for now, we're going to um, put them in some hives at my house. And then once the um, society starts to open up a little bit more, we'll, we'll bring them back to the uh, library and get them in the hive at the library that um, everybody decorated last year. So this is a nucleus hive. This is very typical of what it looks like when you receive one. So you can see here there's a little slot that'll actually pop open and the bees can come and go. And there's vents here along the top that let the air come in and out. Um, inside of here we're going to see five different frames. The frames are going to have um, all different stages of bees. So we'll see some, hopefully some eggs, some uncapped larvae, some larvae, We'll see some pollen, we'll see some honey, and we'll see a lot of bees. So let's open this up. Uh, actually, what I'll do is I'll open the new hive that we're gonna put them into first. Um, then we'll open up the nuke, and I'll show you guys the frames, and then hopefully we can find the queen. And then uh, we'll get them in their hive and ready to go. You can actually see um, some of my other hives here. Um, the bees coming and going. I got those a couple weeks ago. Um, so they've had a couple of good weeks. Today's a really nice day. It's in the low 60s right now. So they're they're loving this weather. The sun's out nice and warm. All right, so this is the hive we're going to use. So this is um, the outer cover of the hive. It's aluminum so that um, any water that comes on top will run off. The inside's wood. This is an inner cover. And we use this so that the bees don't start building on the inside of the outer cover. You'll see there's a little bit of wax here that the bees did from previous years that I've used this hive. And inside the hive there's typically 10 frames. We've got some stray bees in here probably taking some of the honey that we have. Um, these frames have drawn out wax. You can kind of see on this one here the bees have started to build this one. This is plastic called plastic foundation. There's also natural wax foundation. Um, the bees will build on that pattern and you can see on the top here the wax is actually built up. It's a little darker orange colored. In fact you can see a lot much better on this side. In fact there's some honey um, that they've capped in here so the bees will have a little bit of honey to start with as well. Um, but Like I said there's ten of these frames and the bees will use that to both make um, new bees, the queen will lay in those cells, and then the bees will also store pollen and honey um, in those as well. Actually, they'll store nectar, which will turn into honey. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out five of these frames, and these are brand new frames. You can see this is what the, the plastic foundation looks like before they build anything on it at all. So this is a brand new frame um, that hasn't have any comb drawn out on it. The bees do create wax and they'll build it out. Here's another picture of what drawn comb looks like. So that's all wax. Some of the areas are darker, you'll see, than other areas. That could be from what was stored in those cells. Um, it's also the bees walking over those cells. Um, they don't wipe their feet when they come in the hive. So traffic alone um, will make some of that dirty. If the queen lays in those cells, they'll be much darker than this. Um, they'll have like the cocoon that the bee, um, when it's developing, forms. Some of that will be left over as well. And actually it's very dark brown when that happens. But let's take out, I'm gonna try to take out the most empty frames. And the reason I'm gonna do that is 
we don't want the bees to work harder than they have to. So here's a good example of comb that probably had bees uh, laid, eggs laid in it, and bees were raised. It's really dark. And you'll notice the stuff around the edges is lighter. What the queen will do is she'll lay in the center of the frames, and then typically on almost every frame you'll see honey in the corners. And we'll see some of that here um, as the hive gets to develop a little bit more. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got room for five here. So what we'll do is, let me get a better angle here. There we go. All right, we're gonna open this up and we'll see what we got. Lots of bees flying around. You can see there's lots of bees inside of this new hive. So what we're gonna do is I have a smoker. The smoker actually makes the bees calm down. They think they'll actually, um, it mimics a fire in the wild. And the bees think that they need to start consuming lots of honey to um, rescue the resources of the hive. So they'll actually go down and they'll gorge on honey and that makes them more docile. They'll, they're a little less defensive. Um, they're preoccupied getting that. It also stops the spread of the pheromones. You'll hear about bees communicate using pheromones. Um, it blocks that a little bit as well, so they can't quite smell it as much. So we're gonna pull the first frame out here. And you can see there are a lot of bees. This is what's called a brood frame. You can see how it's kind of like a light brown colored. Underneath those are all baby bees. Let me see if I can, there's a little bit better view. You can see all that light brown, that's capped brood that's underneath there. Those are the bees that are developing. In fact, up in this corner, I'm not sure how this is going to work on the camera, but you can actually, if you can see in those cells right here, there's like, looks like little worms. Those are actually the bee larvae. So those are a couple day old. Um, you see them as eggs, they look like little grains of, of um, rice at first. And then um, they'll turn into the, the larvae like we saw there. And then eventually, once they reach a certain level of development, the bees will cap those cells with wax and then the bees will finish their development. All right, so here's a different frame. This one has some honey. You can see that the cap cells, the cap cells here are a lighter color. That's capped honey. So that honey is cured. It was nectar. It's cured now and it's ready to eat. Below that, you can see there's kind of maybe, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this on the camera or not, but right below that, in this area here, you can kind of see the glistening on the inside. That's nectar, that will be honey, um, but the bees are depositing it in there and they're drying it out so it gets to a certain moisture level. On the back side, I'm just gently blowing on these bees to make them move. I'm kind of looking for the queen here as we're going to see if I can find her. Usually she's moving pretty rapidly. I don't see her. We're gonna put this in here. So one of the things we do during inspections is we look for the queen. Um, I'll be honest, I'm not very good at finding the queen. Um, so what I look for are signs of the queen. Those signs are eggs, and then uncapped larva and capped larva. So we can tell based on the number of days we should be able, to, if we see eggs, usually that's three days, the queen has laid those within three days. Um, so if I see eggs, I know that the queen has been in there at least in the last three days. All right, so here's the next frame. This is, looks like maybe, there's so many bees. This will be a brood frame, but there's not. Oh, yep, I can see, and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this on the camera, 
inside those cells there's larvae in there it's really hard to see and the shadow of the camera is kind of going on there but there's little larvae little tiny looking like worms almost on there so let's see if I can find a queen here she might be on this frame see her though so a little um, trivia not trivia necessarily but a little bee facts here for you most bees all the most of these bees in fact are female bees all the worker bees all the nurse bees uh, the queen herself they're all female um, they do all the work in the hive they are the ones who also go out and get the nectar for the hive uh, they take care of the queen they take care of the larvae Here's another larvae frame. You can kind of see the larvae here, cap larva. Um, so these are all female bees. The male bees are a little bit bigger and they often get confused with queen bees because they're larger like the queen, um, but they are called drones. There's some more brood there you can see. Um, those drones really don't do anything other than go and breed with queen bees, new queen, new queen bees. Um, they'll go out, fly and mate, and then they'll come back and eat the honey. They don't do any work. Um, the female worker bees take care of all their needs. All they do is go out and mate with queens. Um, and then at the end of the season, don't feel bad for the queens, or for the female worker bees. At the end of the season, when the resources start getting scarce, the, fem the worker bees kick out the, the drones. They literally will run them out of the hive. And this is another drone frame, another uh, brood frame. Um, so the drones do not stay in the hive over winter. They kick them out and they, uh, they save the resources for themselves because they're the productive ones. So here's in the very, very corner up here, you can actually see Oops, hopefully you can see in those cells, there's little white, like grubs almost. Those are the larvae. And then over here, in the sh right above the shadow here, you'll see it's like solid material in there. That's pollen. They'll pack it in there and they'll save that for the baby bees to feed them. And then again, up on the top here, you'll see, right by my thumb, that kind of, um, darker color capping that's honey all right this is the last frame so I'll slide this in here really gently and then you'll see that we still have a lot of bees in this nuke box so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tip it over we're just gonna gently shake that right into the hive I'm going to give it one little tap to loosen them up. I'm just going to pour them in. All right, make sure our queen isn't in here. Oh, getting a little bit of water from the edges. We don't want them. We don't want that water to go in the hive. So I'm going to dump it out over here. It must have rained in the last few days with the nukes. All right. I do not see the queen, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up and just leave it open next to the hive and eventually what they're going to do is they're going to smell the pheromones from the queen and they're going to go in that hive. But for now, I'm going to smoke those bees to get them to go down. We're going to put the uh, top box back on and then we'll be good to go with this hive. So you'll see here, we'll just give them a little puff of smoke here. top box I want to get these bees off the edge I don't want to crush them if I can help it so what I'll do is I'll set on the back and I'll kind of 
scoot them forward as I slide the box on. And then once we get to the front, I'll give them a little puff of smoke. Get them out of the way here. I don't want to crush. There's always a few of them that get smushed, but there we go. And they're going to be good to go. So we'll get our inner cover on and our outer cover. And we're all set. That's, that's the bees. You can see there's a whole bunch of bees flying around here right now. So what will happen now is um, eventually they'll all get used to their new home. They'll start coming out and flying around and getting a bearing of the area and then they'll start foraging. They'll be bringing in nectar. There's lots of things flowering right now. You've probably seen the dandelions in the yard. Um, some of our daffodils and flowers like that are starting to bloom. So bees are out there collecting um, nectar and pollen. So they'll be really busy for the next few weeks. We'll come back and check on these guys. Uh, probably next weekend and we'll take a peek inside and make sure we see the signs of the queen and we'll give you an update from there.